Good evening. I'm Amber Grigley, and thank you so much for watching this evening. Two people are in custody tonight after a shooting at the Bass Pro Shop in Spanish Fort this afternoon. Now, according to police, one person was shooting at the building while shoppers and employees were inside. Gabby Easterwood has been on top of this all afternoon. And, Gabby, what can you tell us? Well, Amber, Spanish Fort Police aren't giving us a lot of information this afternoon, considering they are still on scene right now doing some investigating. One thing that they are investigating, as you can see right here behind me, one of these doors that got a lot of damage here at the boat service center here at the Bass Pro Shop. Now, thankfully, though, police do tell us that no one was hurt during this shooting. Now, they do tell us that they got the call around 1230, and shortly thereafter, the shooter was arrested without incident. Now, one witness that spoke with us saying he was on his way into work at Bass Pro when he saw it all unfold. He told us doors were closed here before the man could get inside. Now, the man allegedly began firing an AR-15 and an AR-10 at the building, while his wife allegedly continued to give him more ammunition. Now, the witness also said there was at least 50 rounds shot off and that 25 employees were inside during the shooting, not to mention those who were just shopping. So they came up this road and they took him down right over there. Actually, he was coming towards my car, and luckily I carry a gun on me all the time. So I actually pulled my gun out, but I didn't want to get out of the car. And I believe one of these uh, black SUV deputies, they came, um, I think it was the state, state troopers, they came around, they cut me off, and I just see him come down, it's just like get him on the ground. They tased him, but he got back up. Now, police say that there is some damage to the outside of the building, especially to the one where um, the windows that you can see right here where those shots were fired here at the boat service center. Now, Spanish Fort Police also tell us that they are not going to be getting out the names of those two people in custody or any further information until at least tomorrow. Reporting live in Spanish Fort, I'm Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5. All right, thanks, Gabby. Be sure to download our News 5 app to get news on the go. It's free in the App Store and Google Play.